Hi Cancer and welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that because this reading is general that also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, so Cancer, let's see what is going on with you. First couple weeks of March, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Lovers. Okay, so you have Gemini's energy showing up in your reading. There's love here, obviously. Um, a lot of love. And... I feel like you're, there's possibly been a breakup and you are recovering from this, right? There's some healing that is happening, but the love is still there. I feel like this connection, it's, it's, it's one of those things that's just always there, right? Even if, even if you can move on, it's one of those connections that always stays with you is what I'm getting. Um, let's see for your energy. We have the two of wands. The, eight, the Three of Pentacles, and the Empress. All right. Yeah, it feels like there's something that you're wanting to put effort towards, but, but you're kind of holding back. And I feel like that's because you feel this, this pull from this connection. So I don't know what that is. Um, cause I, I'm actually getting that you're trying to heal the connection, but you're also feeling like that connection is always there. So then how do you heal from it? And so this might be creating a bit of, of a feeling where it feels like things are just taking too long for you to, to move forward. However, I do see, I do see you being in control of this and I feel like it might not be apparent to you but you are standing in your power. You are moving towards that Empress energy. I'm getting a very specific message here for some of you that there might be a pregnancy involved as well. Um, and I don't, I don't usually say that in a general reading um, with the Empress, but that message is coming through. So let's see for them. We have the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, yeah. Like I said, feels like a very strong connection here. Um, it's, it's one of those connections where you love each other no matter what happens. Even if you break up, even if you both move on, that love, it's, it's just unbreakable, it's still there. So this person is taking some action here. They're taking some action, I see them wanting a commitment and wanting this. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, potential outcome here, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, which is not the best energy to be in or to have as the final card. Um, but let's not get our head ahead of ourselves just yet because we are gonna clarify. It could be that somebody is just feeling um, some grief, some regret about something. Let's see. Let's clarify the Four of Swords with the Lovers. the Four of Cups, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. Ooh, all right, so yeah, there's definitely been a huge disappointment here um, in this connection. And I feel like it feels like whatever happened between the two of you, it was like, it was a pretty big deal. It was a pretty big deal. Um, you, oh gosh, okay, I'm getting that neither of you was really happy with the way that things turned out or with the way that there was, I'm getting like some kind of an ending. I don't see the death card. So I, like I said, I mean, I just don't feel like this is really an ending because that love is always there. Um, but something really big has happened here or is happening, creating that tower, which is coming in with a lot of disappointment. But it's like you're both kind of trying to stick to this trying to stick to whatever decision was made or to, you know, um, if there's a, like a fallout or breakup, like, yeah, you know what, like, this is just what we need to do. 
So really interesting. At the same time though, I feel like this is happening for a purpose and that purpose is to give you a sense of clarity, either you or the other person or both, um, about something in this connection. Let's see that Two of Wands for you. The King of Cups and the Three of Wands. All right, you, you're you having a lot of emotions here um, that are surfacing. But I get the sense that you're holding you're holding back from acting on them. So you, throughout this process, there's something that you're feeling. And I feel like it's the love. It's the love for this person, but I feel like you're just trying to kind of keep these feelings in reserve and wait and see how you're going to use these feelings, what you're gonna do about these feelings, kind of like pressing pause, putting them on hold for the time being. There's something that you want though. There's something that you're expecting. But again, it's like you've pressed um, you've pressed pause and you're just waiting. And I'm not necessarily saying that this has to do with the other person, that you're not necessarily waiting for them. I feel like you're mostly waiting for yourself, waiting to find out something about yourself or to see, you know, what you're gonna do how you're going to handle these emotions. It's more like that. Let's see the three of pentacles. The queen of cups and the ten of wands. Okay, so you're... A lot of, yeah, I mean, this is you showing up here with that Queen of Cups. What are you trying to do here? There's, I feel like there's a purpose behind this. It's like you have some kind of, I feel like it's some kind of a strategy. It's some kind of a strategy in order, oh, okay, I think I see what you're doing. You're feeling like if you can just hold off on how you feel right now and just let time pass that eventually this might go away, that this will be released, this burden will be um, relieved from your back. I don't, to be honest, I don't know if that's going to work. But I do see you moving um, towards that Empress. I feel like that's your goal, really. That's like you're trying to just be um, independent. You're trying to really, you know, have a sense of control over your own self and just feel happy and abundant and, you know, healthy, recovered from this, healing yourself. But it's almost as if you believe that if you just push your emotions to the side and then wait for time to pass that it'll kind of just heal on its own. Let me see that Empress. The Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Um, you're like blocking this out. You're blocking out actually looking, taking a good look and focusing on what you're feeling here. And it could be anything, like I'm not necessarily seeing pain, but I think that that's kind of um, going to be the case for most of you. I think it's pretty clear, it's pretty obvious, but it doesn't have, that doesn't have to necessarily be the case for all of you. But there's definitely something that you're feeling here emotionally, and it could just be the fact that you're feeling this love right? It might not necessarily be pain attached to it, although I assume that for a lot of you it is, but that's what it feels like. It, it feels like you're just putting your emotions, whatever that is, to the side, hoping that they'll just kind of go away. And it does come in as a defense mechanism. 
And I feel like the message here is that, you know, you, in order to move things along and in order for you to fully embody that Empress energy, you have to really look at your emotions, look at what you're feeling. Let's see what's going on with this other person. Let's see the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Swords and Judgment. This person is afraid of the truth. So either something that they are now um, discovering or something that they already know to be true. Um, definitely this is this is a truth that I feel like once they once they fully accept that truth, it will push them towards some kind of action. And that could that action could even be what scares them. Um, but it feels like there's this truth that they are being awakened too, possibly about their own self, possibly about the connection, possibly about you. And this is something that they are just kind of driving themselves crazy about, um, overanalyzing, overthinking about it, and possibly even over dramatizing it. But definitely having some kind of a major wake up call here. So hopefully if you're in this situation, you know what I'm talking about because it's a general reading, so it's not getting too specific here. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Wow. So it could be that um, for some of you, what this person is, um, the truth that they are beginning to realize or accept is that they cannot let go of this either. They cannot let go of this connection. Um, definitely feeling a very spiritual connection with you. This is something that they feel could be long term. Like they just feel like, you know, this is it. And that could even be something that scares them. Like the um, longevity of, of this connection, right? That idea of, you know what, well, if I'm here, if I'm going to be here in this connection, like this is going to be a forever thing. And that in and of itself could be a little bit intimidating for them. Let's see the Ace of Cups. The King of Pentacles and the world. Yeah, it's like the same message. <laughs> this person just feels like, you know, this is the love of a lifetime, basically. This is it. Like, once this comes together, like, once I fully commit to this connection, to this relationship, like, that's it. Doors closed to anything else. Like, it's it. Done. Forever. <laughs> Door locked. Never opening again for anything else. And so I can see why that would be um, intimidating. And I feel like for a lot of them, that's the truth that is being uncovered here. And I don't know what it is that has created this tower. It could even be like a little bit of a combination of all of these things just leading up to that tower. And now it's just kind of all tying together and everything just kind of falling into place. Not falling into place exactly, but like coming to the surface at least. Everything coming to the surface to actually be looked at. And for you, it's really looking at how you feel. Um, and I'm not saying to not try to heal from this connection. Definitely do so if that's what you're feeling guided to. And, and I feel like that's never a bad thing. You can never go wrong in, in a situation like this by doing that. And if this is meant to be, you know, well then, great. It's okay if you, if you have healed and if you have detached from this person. Um... But don't avoid looking at your feelings. You can't move on just by, just by ignoring them. And then the lesson for them is to fully embrace what they feel as well. And to accept the truth of how they feel. And 
to pretty much overcome this fear, that Eight of Swords, this overanalyzing, this overthinking about the, the long-term um, scenario of this connection, you know? What is, is. It just is. <laughs> right? You just go with the flow and, you know, I mean, any problems that arise, they can be dealt with at that time. You can't think of all the problems and think of all the possible solutions for every like possible problem you might have in the future. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. And that is their challenge to overcome that. All right, so let's see why we have the Five of Cups here then. Nine of Swords, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. Okay, I see. So what this feels like is that because these lessons are still kind of taking form and they're still being learned, in the meantime, um, a part of that process is feeling that grief and actually facing it. So that's the message here is that I feel like, yeah, see, here's that pain that I was talking about where I was like, I don't really see it showing up, but it just makes sense that you would be feeling it. Well, it's here in this five of cups. And so you're being asked to fully allow yourself to feel that. And I feel like, you know, you're both feeling this. You're both going to feel this temporarily, at least, right? It's temporary. It's, it's, you know, it's like you have to hit that rock bottom and understand the grief before being able to, um, fully understand what it is that you feel, right? Which is this um, lovers, this two of cups. I mean, this is, again, I'm just gonna, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's like a love of a lifetime, basically. That's what I'm getting here. And, you know, if you don't feel like you're in a connection with like that, then this might not be your reading most likely, okay? But that's what I'm getting for this particular reading here. Um, this is a very strong love. We also do have Gemini um, showing up here. Not sure if I called that out. We also had Gemini showing up in the beginning of the reading. So yeah, maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini or have strong Geminis in your charts. But definitely this is something, this is a process, all right? Um, needing to face that grief for the both of you before moving on to this um, happily ever after, happily ever after in love kind of an energy. But it's here. It's definitely here. All right, Cancer. Let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. And we have the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this is pretty much showing you that that potential is here. Um, it's not over, just like I thought, right? There will be a new romantic cycle that begins. So take that as it resonates. All right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. Did I say Libra? Cancer. <laughs> Bye, guys.